What is up, YouTube? Nuke Penguin here, and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I figured I'd run two series at the same time because I was starting to run Dark Souls, and this is a much later, late, more light-hearted game. Um, this is a game from my childhood. Uh, this is not the N64 version, though. This is the uh, the one that I'm using on Xbox One um, from Rare Replay, to be exact. Uh, and I've never actually beaten this game. This is embarrassing to admit, but I've never beaten the game. Um, I have two save files. 84 jiggies in that one, 84 jiggies in that one, 777 notes. I'm actually beating this one by 11 more notes. Um, I actually just started playing this one the other night. Um, so I can blow through like the first half of the game in about... I can get, I can get to Rusty Bucket Bay in about f uh, 5 hours. Um, mainly because the later levels take me a little longer to do because I'm not as familiar with them because I never got to them as a kid. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick the save file that is Banjo uh, Making Soup. Alright, um, let me start off this game by saying this is a classic uh, from, I don't actually remember when this game came out and I probably could Google that real fast if I wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> so I'm going to... I'm gonna read. I don't know why I'm going to read, but I'm going to read. Dingpot, Dingpot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Does every. C c cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. <laughs> crowd of beautiful people, you'll be able to pick her out in a second. Get away from my screen, moth. Hey, get, get. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. That hurts my throat. Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. And she's like, no, I ain't having this shit. I'm not dealing with it. Well, 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 we'll see about that. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't rhyme. I think that's the only time she doesn't rhyme in this game. And then there's Tootie in her, uh... What's that type of pant called that goes under the foot? They're like, not yoga pants. Ah, <sighs> jumpers? No, that doesn't make sense. And there's bottles. Four bottles. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? God, I wish I could speed up the, uh... When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! I just remember that from my childhood. And, uh, Banjo's currently sleeping. <sighs> Muttering to indicate dream content. Alright, let's see how I can do Kazooie's voice. Wake up! I wanna go on an adventure, too! Oh, wait, no, she didn't have an exclamation point out there. And then, Grunty. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! <laughs> Grant Kirkhope is a genius with this music, by the way. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. I can't read your dialogue either fast enough. Up there in the sky! I don't think so. Who's that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up. Now. Ugh. With his shark tooth necklace. Yawn. What do you want, Kazooie? That's my uh, tire horse. That makes you maybe yawn. Let's get out of here. There's trouble. I mix the two voices together. All right. So this is Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I can't do anything special because I don't have the, my moves yet. Um, I forgot about that. Blah. Alright, so, at the beginning of this game, you get the opportunity of skipping, or taking the tutorial, which, as a kid, you want to do. I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. 
Sure, is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Oh wait, that's right, I can hold A. Can I talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What's with all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch can tilt a swoop down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where'd she go? I'm gonna stop reading. And I'm hoping you guys can read fast, because I'm holding A. I got, I, there's a lot of dialogue in the beginning. Um, I don't want training. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Uh, decline training. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. <laughs> So he gives me my basic moves, which will allow me to get into the game a lot faster. Um, so now we have the double jump, the backflip, which I'm going to use to grab this extra life up here, which for, I, I didn't know forever as a kid. Um, yep. Now, there's something in here. Oh, I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about this hidden feature until you collect the Jigsaw from the Sandcastle game in Treasure Trove Cove. Tell us now, Barrel Boy. That's right, I forgot this existed. Come on, Kazooie, let's get it. Alright, so long story short, I'm going to spend most of this episode uh, going around Spiral Mountain getting the uh, the health upgrades. Because health, health upgrades are always nice. Um, I don't have the talent trout, which means I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, basically, each training move lets you, or each training area lets you get an extra health upgrade. Uh, but if you decline the training, you can just go get all this shizniz on your own. Uh, I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Oh, extra honeycomb piece. Get you, Mr. Increase your energy bar. Now, I think it's always in the last rocky smash. Yeah, it always is, unfortunately. So we'll just uh, smash all the rocks. And uh, there's our second honeycomb piece. There's six in Spiral Mountain, and then there's two in every level after that. Um, there's the one where we learned how to climb. Um, so we'll go grab that one. And there's the one where we learned to double jump. Or the, the flutter jump. I don't know what you call it. It extends your jump, rather. It's not really a double jump. Um, and we'll grab that. It would be easier if I had Talon Trot, because I could move a lot a lot faster with that, but I don't get Talon Trot until I get to Mumbo's Mountain. Which is sad, but I can blow through Mumbo's Mountain in one episode. I can blow through basically every level in one episode until I get to uh I think it's Bubble Gloop Swamp. That's the one that just bogs me down. Uh oh yeah, that's right. The uh the backflip jump here. Which I can just go grab. Bling. And then there's one more where you learn how to dive. And, uh... It's on the other side. So we'll just, uh, go ahead and... Dive on, dive on in. And I started this in, uh, Dark Souls, but... Ten points to who can never tell me what that reference is. Dive on in. Um... Yeah, so we'll grab the, uh, honeycomb piece here. And... Bada buoy. So now we have all the training honeycombs, and we can just head straight to uh, Gruntilda's Lair. Uh, I am going to try a speedrun trick. I don't know how e good it will work, but I know that you can, uh, I, you can kind of, oh, nope. I don't know why I'm attempting the speedrun trick, but I'm going to anyways. Basically, you can backflip onto that ledge, say, like, half a second or something like that. Speaking of uh, speedrun tricks, anybody watch uh, SGGQ this year? Yeah. There we go. Um, it was, it's really good. Like, especially if you like speedruns. It's always fun to watch. Alright, so, Gratilda's Jeweled Lair, which looks small on the outside, but big on the inside. Like, I'm assuming, like, the rest of the mountain is her lair as well. Um, cross the bridge to enter Gratilla's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. It's gotta be in the mountain, because Hallis would bottles get in there. You don't see him ever step off of his molehill. Oh, pardon me. I've got wicked bad heartburn right now. Oh, alright. Cutscene. <clears throat> Shivering. To indicate fear. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! 
Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. I think I just blew up the mic with that. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo, help! <laughs> Poor little Tootie. You know, and whenever you quit this game, um, there's a cutscene that plays. Uh, that makes you feel really bad for quitting the game. Alright, so we get our first Jiggy. And, uh, hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. God, Grant Kirkhope, you genius. Not that he'd ever watch this, but, whew! I would like to, to thank you for providing me with music in my childhood. Uh, speaking of Grant Kirkhope, he's also uh, composing Ukulele, the uh, spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. Um, if you haven't already looked it up, look up Ukulele. Uh, it's. S s oh, I can't wait for it. It's come out the quarter one of 2017. We got the first piece. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to press A. If no one needs to just press this, press B to leave. I want to put a jigsaw piece in because we have nowhere else to fucking go. That's it. The picture's complete. And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. Because you talk any slower, damn it. Alright. That's actually going to do it for this episode. I know I'm a little short on the 15-minute mark. But uh, we're going to enter Mumbo's Mountain. And uh, we'll blast through this one in the next episode. So thanks for watching.